Vintage pen downrigger swivel. Weeks, weeks to come from California. Who the hell knows what's going on out there? Bought this off of a guy on eBay. He sent it, what, like July 22nd? And it roamed around California until it ever got here to Jacksonville, Florida. What the hell is going on out there? And well, I got one exactly like this and I'm going to show you why I wanted this particular kind of pen swivelmatic. <coughs> There you go. Putting on this base, swivel base. Most of the new pen swivel bases have like these ears sticking out. I really couldn't have that. Let me show you. I couldn't have that because see this extrusion on my boat here? I couldn't have that because I wanted to tuck up as close as possible. So this is the old style pen swivelmatic base. This is the old style. So I had to seek one of these out and I found it weeks and weeks ago. So that swivels it out on a perfect angle. There's my homemade downrigger. I think it's about an eight pound downrigger weight. All right, so I permanently mounted everything for the sheer fact that the pole holder mounts that I had didn't really work because of the swivel. I would have needed longer ones. They uh, go down in here like a rod gimbal rod butt and I had short ones that would bang sort of into this extrusion again you can buy longer ones that put it way up here and that's just way too much torque on your on your pole holders your pole holders will snap off I've had fish snap the tube off the bottom of these rod holders these two piece because that's like a cap with a pipe welded up underneath welded up underneath here I've had fish, Jewfish hooked up, I believe, that would absolutely just torque the rod so much it broke that pipe off. So the more torque you put on that being up high, 
So I opted for the permanent mount situation. It's no big deal. So it swivels in nicely. And if you come over here and you grab the ball, sit it on down. And now that's out of the way for when you're fighting a fish. And as, as I'm up and running to keep these from flopping, what I do is I go over here. If you're not familiar with a pen downrigger, it's just like a star drag. You just back this nut off right here. Now the spool is loose. I go over and I grab this and I go and I tighten it up onto that eye. I've always had those on my rod holders. And I tighten it up and it'll keep it relatively straight. So let me show you the other one because I got another one on this side too. There's the other side. I use a longer boom on that pen down rigger compared to the other one for the sheer fact that when it's on an angle like it is right now, shed some light over here, I have to make it past my kicker when I'm going really clicking along, trolling. I have to be able to come off of right here, okay, and make it pass when I make a turn when I got the kicker down. So I use a little longer boom. This is the two foot extension boom. And uh, that seems to work out better. Because, you know, when that cable is going down right here, going down it's blowing back like this so when I make a turn with the kicker I got to have this out so it's kind of like outrigger downrigger and then I got the other one over here that's the angle that that one would be on of course that's how I had to set it up I had to use this vintage pen base for the sheer fact that even both of them see how close this is right here see how close that is right there uh the new the new um well new i mean we're talking probably these are 20 years old but the new ones have these tabs and are ratcheting instead of just swiveling like this i can't bring it on back because it's it's hitting my boat port but that's what I had to do. I wanted to get it up on here in the middle. I'll show you on this one. So when it swivels, God, I don't have it locked in. This is how you lock it in. If you're not familiar with the pen down riggers. See how close that is right there? Right in here. So the other newer type didn't work for me because I have this huge extrusion here. And that's really super strong. So the way my boat's built, I had to use some of the old school technology, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with these swivel bases whatsoever. That's how my downriggers are set up for, for trolling and all. Downriggers are extremely useful for fishing that water column. I use them for king mackerel. Uh, almost everything. King mackerel, we've caught red snapper on them. Now you can get a ball, a regular ball. I made this out of a PBR can with just a wire. It's about as aerodynamic as a ball. I put a galvanized wire at the top and then you come off of it and you've got these the snap here. See that snap. That's what you put your line in.
and as you send it down you have your spool in free spool not a spinner not a spinner you don't use spinners for this you use conventional reels uh, star drag I use star drag level lines my Triton 100 or 200 uh, G's that's what I use level line star drag conventional reels and as you're letting it out you put your line in here and then you hold your rod and you send the weight down via this drag right here I should do a video it's very it's it's very easy there's nothing there's nothing difficult about it you got your rod in one hand and you're sending the ball down with the other by loosening this drag right here and then when you get a strike the fish pulls it out of those two rubber pads I like these kind of clips so I've always used those type of clips the downriggers are what really gets you in that water column because many times the top of the top of the water can be really rough or hot and you're getting down there into that cooler water well to make a long story short you know I waited all this time for just one of these swivel bases that I got off of eBay guy let's see he sent it on July 22nd what did I say in my other video you can't get anything worth the hoot these days right you know the default excuse for everything is the woo flu I watched it on the tracking he's in Northern California and it cycled around California before it ever got on an airplane and came to Florida when I got it from the mailman he said yeah I heard I heard how things are going so slow all he does is deliver so I mean you know what's he care yeah that's a default excuse what a joke all that is so when you order something I hope you don't need it right away now I'm really happy that I have two swivel bases I might even put a, a longer boom extension on this one too this one's a short one that's a long one because my kicker over there there you go thanks for watching this was just a little my downrigger setup and how long it takes to get anything these days so I'll see you on the next one Do. I think I'll go fishing, scare away the blues, I'm going